Okay, here's my current panel and I am about to redo it. I'm going to be eliminating a couple of the steam gauges. I'm going to replace my Denon D100 with a GRT flat panel. I'm going to eliminate the GPS. Uh, going to get rid of some of the switches and clean up the panel and make it look really nice. So this is the back side of my panel. And as you can see, it is going to be a lot of work separating the wires and labeling and disconnecting and getting them all reconnected. So yeah, it's going to be uh, going to be a challenging job. Okay, I finally got the panel free, and as you can see, it's uh, quite a wiring mess. Going to have to do some cleanup, remove some cables, uh, install some new cables for the new equipment. Yeah, it should be fun. Good morning. Well, I'm all done with the panel. Just getting ready to put the electronics back into it. There's one last thing that I need to work on to uh, make it really sharp looking which is the fixing the frame and the way it connects to the dash. And uh, I'll show you what the problem is. There's a couple problems I need to fix. So this is the dash in my airplane. Uh, right here is where the instrument panel goes. And these are a couple of reinforcement tubes that come down from the ceiling. And this butts up against the uh, windshield of the airplane, that big round curve. And so I, I made a cardboard template to replace it and uh, really didn't like the positioning of where it lined up along the uh, glass. So I built a second template out of um, poster board. And uh, as a result, I came back and I cut a... Uh, uh, piece of cardboard and bend it to the same shape as the panel. So this panel right here is uh, the same shape and form as my instrument panel in my airplane. So if I'm uh, bending the cardboard to meet the top of that, uh, it should work pretty good. So the Okay, I have the new dash uh, currently drying, the resin just applied to the fiberglass. And uh, let's hope that this will match uh, the windshield and the existing panel. Wiring is now complete and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. One, two, testing, one, two. I've got my map turned on and it's showing the uh, terrain. Very 
nice feature of this new system. My transponder, my radio. This is a tablet. It's got a VAIR, which is a flight uh, planning tool uh, loaded to it. It's connected to my ADS-B in. If my panel goes out completely, I can use this as a backup navigation tool. It shows me altitude, location, uh, airport information. Uh, it's a great tool to have in the cockpit in case I lose my main instrument. Auburn Travis, Kit Box 314, Delta Whiskey on the 45, 5 miles out, or 25. Auburn. Got a nice view of the uh, golf course down here. And I see uh, quite a few people out there playing today. So, hope they're staying safe and staying away from each other. No sharing beer bottles. Okay, lined up on 2-5. Dropping altitude. Auburn traffic, get back 314, Delta Whiskey on final. 2-5, full stop, Auburn. A little fast here, gonna have to slow down. Get a little bouncy as usual. Gonna land on top of this mountain top. Gotta watch out for those fences. wires that I can see. Aim for this area right below the rocks. 